Hi, I'm Deidre Smith, Artistic Director at Hot Tools. We're backstage today with James Pesches at the Zero Maria Cornejo Show, and we're so excited about the work that James and his team are doing. James, could you tell us a little bit about the show and what kind of look Maria has asked you to create with this event? Cool, yeah. I mean, uh, we're backstage. It's, it's pretty packed back here. We're doing a look that's inspired by the South, uh, Beast of the Southern Wild. The hair is supposed to be a little bit steamy, sweaty, worked in. She, you know, uh, it's, it's kind of a, a moment. We're creating a character here. So, um, it's a really important collection. Uh, Maria is taking a huge stance with the fashion industry. She's been around for years, and this collection is um, very progressive in the sense that it's um, it's about ethical fashion, and then, um, and it's going to be very special. Okay. And you have a model that you could show us the yeah. looks that you're creating. Yeah. So. Here's a girl here. We just basically we went through with um, the volume motif, blow dry at roots to ends on dry hair, create a massive amount of texture, and then we're going through in the, uh, the front section, and you're using a one inch curling iron, and you're doing a flat Marcel wave, and then the rest of the hair you're using a one and a quarter inch curling iron, doing a flat Marcel wave, and then we just take some fiber paste, we start working tons of that through the hair to get it a little bit more swampy, and then. Um, we pin it up for makeup and let it kind of marinate for a bit. Now can you tell us how hairstylists in an everyday salon can take this look and use it in their chairs? Well the importance of what we do backstage and how that actually translates to the salon it's kind of like this is dress up this is more extreme this is a, this is taking it to number 11 where in the salon you might take it to level 5 um, and it's really important right now more than ever before because your clients are watching everything that's happening through social media. So even the, gr the girls and boys that live in the middle of nowhere that have never seen this before or would n wouldn't see a fashion show until months later usually are now seeing it as it's happening in a live time. So they, even though this might seem more extreme now, it's quite possible they will watch a Prada show and then the next day go into the salon and say, hey, I want that short fringe. Thank you for giving us your time, James. We've got to let him go. He's got a large team back here. They're all hustling to get ready for the show, but we really appreciate all of you tuning in.